can't violate the rules that keep us all safe and get away with it. It is a, a cesspool of toxicity when it comes to discrimination. The suit says a prisoner, James Hart, told Canty about the drug operation that also involved two other prisoners in 2016. Canty immediately reporting it to his superiors. If you have integrity, you do the right thing. But at what personal cost? The suit alleges that when Canty came forward, the retaliation began, and not just against him. The two prisoners that substantiated and corroborated what Brandon said about the drug running were transferred to other facilities and wound up dead. We won. We won the day, and that's important. So the hospital will be kept from taking him off of life support until the court hears all of the issues involved. The attorney for Titus Cromer's family desperately trying to prevent the same thing from happening to Titus. This good student, this uh, uh, really wonderful guy that uh, everybody in his class likes, a varsity wrestler, we're going to give him every single chance we can to make sure that he can recover from this. This is the family's decision. It's a decision their attorney says demands more time and a second medical opinion. Titus Cromer Jr., a 16-year-old and a varsity wrestler, suddenly ended up at Beaumont Hospital last week Thursday. He's been in a coma and, according to his doctors, is brain dead. A week after arriving at the hospital... We found out on Thursday at about 4 o'clock that Beaumont intended to remove life support at midnight. The family's attorney, Jim Razor, was able to delay that decision through this weekend. But the clock is ticking to remove the hospital entered DNR and get a second medical opinion. Healthcare provider thinks that they have the ability instead of the family to make this crucial decision. He's filed an emergency motion in Oakland County Circuit Court for more time. We need a long-term care option for Titus. There are some cases where uh, people who are judged to be brain dead spontaneously awaken. And although that might be a remote chance in this case, it's a chance. My client had never been a patient there. My client had never scheduled an appointment with this facility. The lawsuit claims the employee accessed the records through Botsford's online medical record system while working at Advanced Cardiovascular, which is affiliated with Botsford. It's like the security guard being asleep in the records room. They're it's just heartbreaking when you're doing your job and you wind up being framed and fired. They used this event to fire him. And Brandon was afraid for himself, afraid for his life. Fox 2 reaching out to an MDOC spokesperson Monday, but told they cannot comment on pending litigation. And while seeking an unspecified amount in compensation and punitive damages, Razor says he hopes others who feel discriminated against will not be too afraid to come forward as well. This is our tax dollars at work retaliating against a good cop that did his job.